How's it going guys and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to gather a good chunk of resources with doing minimal quests and getting to level 10 and some early game tips. Just going to have an all-round character. Yeah, agility only effects I can't dodge or use build daggers or double jump but it's your build you can pick what you want. First off you want to open this chest get all the items get all the weapons and stuff pick whatever weapon suits you pick up the uh healing potion from the skeleton straight out of the cave there's a copper deposit here so if you're a warrior keep an eye out for this if you plan to make your own weapons or armor keep an eye out for the ore deposits and even wildlife like the deer here take him out and you'll get your leather and descend into the town now from here what i like to do is go through everyone's houses you find some pretty good stuff you get a lot of food get some um some armor and some gold and some potions also some pants and boots as well also if you find any beds you can sleep in them so 12 hours you get five hp stamina and mana restore for 20 minutes with a good night's sleep they get a 30 minute buff with four health four mana and four stamina every five seconds which is pretty good at the start of the game also if you're a mage and you sort of come back to town and you're very low on mana you can drink out of this well three times. For each of them, you get five mana every two seconds. So it's a good way, if you're a mage, come back into town and just stock up on some mana. Now that we've got everything from the houses that we can at the moment, go behind this the merchant stands and you can collect some sugar and some rope. And that'll come in very handy for us in a sec. We're gonna go get our first mount. So what you want to do is come over to Alton, say yes, I want spirit. Now it depends on your charisma. You can either do a quest for him or you can use charisma. But with charisma, you just go, you can either pay the gold, but I don't have that much gold. So you can either pay the 40 or you can, with that sugar that we used, you can use the sugar on spirit. Then it might only require, if you've got high charisma, do that or 10 gold, we can fight him. <laughs> There's a 10 gold we've got level up and we've also got our first mount. So to do the quest for Mr. Alton, just say, yeah, maybe I can do something for you in exchange. And then he just wants you to go and fix the well in the village. So just head back to where the marketplace is and the statue right up here. And that rope that we looted from the box with the sugar you can use that or if you haven't looted the rope you can just you need level four intellect strength or agility so you can inspect it too and then just need the rope ropes done and just head back to mr alton so you fix the well and then we have to investigate mad plants in the grove south from the village so just head down here and then you'll see this like rock formation and there'll be a ton of plants in there Plant beasts, I suppose you could call them. Monsters. They just want to take all these guys out. Now they can be pretty tricky, pretty tough. Just be careful. And then once you take all them out, I'd probably take this guy out first. These guys can hit pretty hard. These flower monsters will leave poison pools, so to be wary of them. And then we just kill these mushrooms. These guys can do a bit of damage too. And then we just go to this uh, little root thing here. That's a weird bottle of energy, explodes. We can loot all these monsters. So you can get a lot of um, alchemy ingredients here as well. So they're really good if you wanna get a bit of experience and you know, just do a quest. Made our way back to Mr. Alton. Just tell him you've destroyed the plants. You've got a summon and you've completed a quest, so. Depends if you're in a hurry or not. There you are. Also, don't forget to activate any of these. They give you a ton of XP. Plus, plus you can travel to any waypoint once you discover them. Next, we can go to this tree over here. There is a bear guarding it, so you can be careful. Take out the bear. Club's a pretty good weapon. It's got that knockback. We can stun him a little bit. Grab all the raw meat and the leather. With this one, you just do this quest. You can either give the apple to whoever you want in the village do the quest how you want to do it so we can give the apple to this lady here but you can give it to anyone in the village also pick up any 
plants that you find as well tomatoes i did pick up some tomatoes and potatoes also near this cooking station we've got uh some more potatoes with the next part if you have a high enough charisma you can obtain a companion so we're going to go for the dog for now two ways you can sort of do it we can get our cooking skill up to level one get the meat that we've acquired from the deers and that very easy plus you get a bit more experience cook more if you want you can level up really quick just by hunting deer and just cooking meat or you can buy some meat from aunt mary Okay, so there we go, we got our first companion. Now we're gonna go tackle that cave just over there. So where we got the dog, right over this way. Don't forget to gather copper. All right, so we're at the cave, just up here, just here on the map. So you can just see the town there. There's a big tree down there, so you can come up this path. And then yeah, you're here. Once you're inside the Edmund Den, climb down or jump down, doesn't matter. Then you'll have all these enemies to fight. So clear out, clear out this little bit here. Handy tip also, if your companions don't follow you, you can press Shift and V and they'll get summoned right next to you. All right, so now that we cleared out all the enemies in this little cave, there is a chest up there. So what you want to do is go up this vine, climb up, what you want to do here is just jump across this little gap. And then we can get this chest, which contains a good starting weapon for a thief or anything like that. So a bloody dagger and also shining stone. With the shining stone, it's trinket. You've got a permanent light source on your character. It just uses the trinket slot there. Very handy for dark caves. So after gathering all the copper and all the mushrooms that you find in this little area, don't forget the mushrooms, they come in very handy and keep pushing on through this cave. There's a few enemies in this next area. Just clear them out. Do what you do best. Don't forget to loot all the chitin as well. Grab the mushrooms that are in this little area here and the copper. Then we come across a chest. Open it. We've got some torn leather pants, experience scroll and a small potion of healing. Use them. Now we can just exit the cave. Once you're out of the cave, and go back down we can collect this magic crystal they come in handy since we have our horse we can go ride around a little bit what we're going to do now is just gather as much material as we can so flowers you can kill the deer too if you want to hunt them get the the meat and the also the leather gather the wild berries you can avoid the larger bandit camps and larger enemy packs if you want any wood that we see, we're going to go get. It'll come in handy for a little bit later. Healthy roots too. And you can find eggs sort of scattered along the mountains and in high places. Also, if you find any of these obelisks up here, grab them. These things will give you not only a skill point, also a blessing. So you have 5% more range, 5% more melee damage, 5% more magic damage and attack speed. 40 minutes so pretty handy to have especially early game so once we're back here we've gathered a fair bit of ingredients and a lot of ore and stuff like that so we can start making armor if if you can craft if not just sell it you can make all your armor full copper set even a sword and shield because we've been gathering wood or a spear or a club so even with a leather you can make the leather stuff that you want to make i like to sort of look at the price so the price compared with the uh how much leather that you use so with gloves you get 17 gold using three leather boots you get 16 gold using three leather the pants you use four leather and 16 gold and then the vest is 22 gold for four leather i sort of go all right 17 gold for three or 22 gold for four so add up sort of how much gold you'll get if you want to sell them same goes with any armor. So 35 gold for four, 31 for four, 26 for three, 26 for three. And you'll level up pretty quick. Sell what you don't need. Depends on what skills you want. I'm just showing you your option. Pick what you need. 
Now that we've done that, I like to get salt just for the so we can get some more time with our buffs. Go over to our cooking station. So with this, I like to go. If you want to get a bit of health regen, all their mushrooms that we collected, put three mushrooms in plus the salt, and we get 12 minutes of three health every three seconds. So that's a pretty good buff at the start. You need um, more attack speed. Why not just chuck three cheese and a bit of salt in there? 9% attack speed for 12 minutes. Very handy to have. You can even mix it up. You need uh, some health, uh, some movement speed, maybe some attack speed. There you go, you got a passive regen for 7 minutes, more attack speed and a bit more movement speed. Put eggs in there for more mana. Even some water for a bit more of a... Mana regen 2, so that's handy to have. If you find any milk early game, you add milk, water, and eggs for a great early magic buff. But what you can do too with meat, you can just cook it and you get all that experience. Then you can just whack it in here. There you go, 6% more melee damage, done. I suggest making either a weak poison or paralyzing potion at the start, just so you can do a bit more damage. Really, whatever your play style is, mana or health, all the materials that you've picked up, just use them all. You get a lot of XP just by just crafting heaps of stuff. With poisons, they just permanently go on your weapon. That'll just have weak poison on it all the time now. So half decked out. For our next tip, we want to go up this hill. So just Waystain's just over there. So west of Waystain, I'm going to come up here. Pass this magic thing up the Killmon tops. Some eggs. I'm gonna jump down here, circle up here onto this rock, cross this log, up this rock. You got enemies that you can kill and deal with. Across this fallen tree. There we go. Then we've got the ruins here. Then we've got this chest. So after you clear out all the birds, you can get this chest. You get battle worn plate leggings and a crude hammer. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to be riding a long way from the starting area. So we're just going to be heading down pretty much to Erteron. The main city. We're going to be heading right here to the player's house that we can buy. When you've acquired 200 gold and have the horse, you can start making your way down. There are some events that you can do for some extra gold and a lumberjack axe if you want, or even some of the other events. You can do them too. So once you've made it to the player house, this location here, you can just buy this for 200 gold. Now you've got this land, and what you can do straight up really depends what you want. So we've got food farm for cooking, an alchemy farm, a cloth farm, a mining spot for ore, an animal farm for leather and meat, that's pretty good, and crystal. So I'm going to go with an animal farm. I'm going to put it just there. What this does, we can go in here, we can get some eggs, raw meat, or thin leather. That'll take 30 minutes. So for a mage, the chickens are very handy for the eggs. You get so much eggs that you can cook raw meat for experience and you've got thin leather that you can just make stuff and then sell. And then with a cow and bull, you need to be higher le level. So chickens are probably the best bet. So 30 minutes and then you can collect all them. They're done. Also, you want to go over here and activate this waystone as well. And once you've acted this waystone, we can head right back up to the starting village. So anytime we want, we can just come back to this waypoint and then head to our player home and then up, keep upgrading. Maybe build more farms so you can get more resources while you're just doing quests pretty early on in the game. You'll have access to more materials, but then you can make more stuff or sell it. Doesn't matter, it's, it's up to you. This game is all about how you play it and how you want to progress, level, the choices are yours. So what you want to do early game as well is find out what sort of build you want to go for and join the faction. So with the Warriors, Holy Monastery, Merchants and Mage Academy, they're all linked. So they're all allied. 
so if you join the warriors guild you have to complete their quest line and then you can pick from the mage academy holy monastery or merchants next and then so on so forth until they're all done once you join one of these these guilds uh, you cannot join the bandits necromancers seers or barbarians same goes if you join the bandits you can do the necromancer quests after but you can't join the merchants holy monastery warriors guild mage academy barbarians or seers and then same goes with barbarians and seers they're allied the barbarians and seers but you cannot join any other one i like to go sort of warriors because they have some good gear holy monastery as well has got some good gear the merchants yeah, it's only like one max companion but you've got to sacrifice all your armor for it like arcane and elemental magic it depends what you want to go so i like doing these three they're probably the best ones for a, a, a newcomer but that's about it for now so thanks so much for watching guys i really appreciate it and i hope you learned something stick around for some more videos on the channel all right guys again thank you so much thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one all right guys take care